Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I'm Jason Worley with WC Fab, and today we have our LBZ LMM Duramax Stage 3 High Flow Bundle Kit. All right, we've got our High Flow Bundle Kit for the 2006 to 2010 LBZ or LMM Duramax on the table in front of us here. This one in particular is specific for the LMM a couple different components and sensors that are slightly different on the LMM version versus the LBZ. You need to make sure you're ordering the one specific for which truck model you have. Uh, old body style, classic, as it's also known as, being the LBZ, and the new body style being the LMM to make sure you have the proper components. So what we've done in our high flow bundle kits is take a lot of our popular product and combine it into one high flow air package that saves you a bundle of money versus buying all the components individually and separately. Saves you money on shipping, ship it all in less packages, and saves you money versus in, in powder coat up charges, and uh, also price savings on the components themselves buying in that bundle package. So let's talk about the components of the kit here. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos where we talk about each item individually, We'll do a quick overview of what's all included in the bundle kit. So first component, we'll start with the air intake kit and work our way through the plumbing of the engine. We have our highly anticipated and newly released fabricated aluminum air boxes and four inch intake pipe for the LBZ LMM Duramax. These are a upgrade from our previous model kits, which was just an intake pipe with an air filter on the end. This is a heavy duty air box, not 16 gauge flimsy sheet metal with a full three sides and a bolt on lid. We're pulling air from the fender as well as from the bottom through the fender well for increased airflow to that air filter versus the factory plastic box. As I mentioned, the lid is removable and is bolt on with four Allen screws to service and access that air filter. Inside the air box, we have our four inch high flow dry air filter. That's a replaceable style air filter. You can clean them a few times with compressed air, knock the dirt out, but they are not meant to be washed. They are meant to be a replaceable dry non-oiled filter. On the outside of that filter, we have our Outerwear's pre-filter cover. These are an extra step of protection against water, moisture, uh, keeping that dry air filter dry and not getting wet, and also helps keep large debris from filling up the pleats of the air filter. That air filter connected to our four inch mandrel bent intake pipe. The newly released air intake kits for the LBZ LMM Duramax have a improved mass airflow sensor bung for no tuning required on stock trucks and improved throttle response and airflow. Moving from our four inch intake pipe, we have our expander boot from four to four and three quarter, which adapts to our high flow cast aluminum intake horn. This intake horn is massively larger than the OEM horn. The OEM horn actually fits inside of this one in the 3D CAD model as you can see here. This intake horn with provisions for the OEM PCB connection. Additionally, on our high flow intake horn, we include an O-ring seal connection at the face of the turbocharger versus the factory style, which is just a plastic to metal connection which is notorious for causing an oily mess all over the face of the turbocharger and the valley of the engine. So a major improvement over the OEM connection there to keep not only dirt out of the engine, but keeping the top side of the engine much cleaner than the factory. The factory plastic injection molded part, 312 CFM, that part flows, while our high flow horn, 375. That's a 20% increase over the OEM component, 63 CFM gain. So again, a large, upgrade over the OEM unit being plastic, ours cast aluminum and powder coated. From there, through the turbocharger, whether you're running an OEM turbocharger or an upgraded VGT unit, it's compatible with either one. We then go to our high flow three inch driver side intercooler pipe. This unit here replaces the OEM two and a half inch intercooler pipe, and most importantly, upgrades the boot connection at the turbo outlet. Turbo outlet of that turbocharger sees the highest temperatures of the whole intercooling system, and the OEM boot on the driver's side pipe is one of the number one failure components 
of the intercooling system on the LBZ LMM Duramaxes. The OEM boot uses a reverse style bead roll connection at the intercooler pipe, which is notorious for blowing off even on stock applications at stock boost levels. If you do a lot of towing, if you're pulling grades through the mountains, or if you have upgraded tuning, it's even worse and more common to blow off that boot connection at the turbocharger. So we've replaced that connection with our high quality silicone boot, five ply with a high temperature internal liner, as well as a wire reinforced center so that boot cannot expand and cause any tears. That boot connects to our three inch pipe, as I mentioned, mandrel bent, aluminum 14 gauge pipe, replacing the factory two and a half inch component. At the intercooler connection, we replace the factory angled boot, which is also another failure point, with a straight three inch boot connection. All right, so flowing from your driver's side pipe through your intercooler, whether you have an OEM intercooler or aftermarket, either or is fine. We then go to our cold side pipe. The factory cold side pipe on the LBZ LMM Duramax is about three inches and it's plastic. These trucks are 10 plus years old now and it's not uncommon to see those plastic intercooler pipes starting to fail. We've upgraded to a three and a half inch, which is a massive increase in airflow over stock. On the flow bench, our OEM plastic intercooler pipe assembly flows 512 CFM at 28 inches water column. The WC Fab three and a half inch high flow intercooler pipe assembly flows a massive 755 CFM, 47% increase over factory. Another benefit of our cold side pipe over the factory. The factory pipe uses a single lip ring style seal. At the connection to the intercooler and at the throttle valve, we use a double O-ring style seal and include new wire clips to replace any of those old wore out factory components. This intercooler pipe then connects to our three inch upper intercooler pipe and three inch Y-bridge assembly. So as I mentioned earlier, this kit in front of us here is LMM specific. The LMM using a throttle valve, whereas the LBZ is a direct connection to that three and a half inch cold side pipe we just talked about. We use an O-ring seal to connect to that OEM throttle valve. We have your map sensor to connect your factory map sensor with the new map sensor seal. That lower component then connects to your grid heater. Now the factory grid heater connection on the LBZ LMM uses some thin metal gaskets. If your components are ever disassembled and reassembled, those metal gaskets are notorious for leaks. What we've done is incorporated a high temperature O-ring style seal, which is a much better seal than the OEM style metal gasket. So we incorporate that factory grid heater, which is what makes this kit completely emissions compliant, no tuning required. The whole kit, stage two, stage one, two, and three, are all bolt-on, no tuning required. So from the grid heater, we connect to our upper intercooler pipe. This three inch mandrel bent aluminum assembly connects to the EGR system, just like OEM. Again, using high quality, high temperature silicone connection instead of the factory metal gaskets. This component here replaces your very restrictive OEM pipe, has several neck down components. The three inch smooth mandrel bend part flows 36% better than the OEM component. That upper crossover pipe connects to our three inch Y bridge. And one of the nicest features of this Y bridge is the ease of installation. So we'll go through how this works here so that you understand. The factory bridge is two piece and that's one of the largest downfalls with the factory bridge. As you can see here, the OEM design, the inlet is just two O-rings sliding into the bridge and there's nothing else that supports that bridge or keeps that inlet connected to the bridge crossover section. So what's important about our two-piece design versus the OEM two-piece design is how we connect our inlet pipe to the bridge so that it doesn't slip apart like the faulty OEM design does. First, the installation of the silicone O-ring on the face of the lower section. With a healthy amount of grease, the inlet pipe slides down into place with the bottom engaging into the groove. And the top side, installation of the stud, and we have our special tapered nut, which seats into the tapered flange. As you install the nut on the stud, and as the nut tightens down against the flange, it takes that horn and seals the face of it tight against the O-ring that was recently installed. What that does is give you a leak-free seal 
three inches the whole way through the track, not getting neck down to two and a quarter like the factory, and then into the internal divider that helps split the air between your passenger side and driver side intake runners. All right, so stage two and stage three, very similar. The only thing separating them is our three inch stainless steel high flow down pipe. So if you opt for the stage three version, you will get this component as well. The down pipe on the LBZ LMM Duramax, another very restrictive component in the OEM exhaust system. It's got the whole center of the pipe crushed to just under an inch and a half in size. It's a major restriction on the turbo outlet. Our three inch stainless steel down pipe comes with heat wrap pre-installed and is a massive increase in airflow and exhaust flow over that OEM component and connects right to your factory exhaust system using all of your factory V-band clamps. So we described all the components in detail, why they're better than the factory parts, all of the flow increases, all of the shortcomings of the OEM parts and what we've improved on. What does all that mean to you? Why, why would you want a stage two or stage three high flow bundle kit? All of this is a seat of the pants difference in throttle response, turbo spool up, decrease EGTs, and depending on how aggressive your right foot is, it can even lead to improved fuel economy. All of our product, as we always mention, powder coated here in house. Many different colors to choose from. WC Fab Red shown in front of us here. This is one of our stock colors, typically available to ship within just a couple days and we've got over 35 other standard colors to choose from. So that wraps up our stage three high flow bundle kit. If you've got any questions about any of the stages of bundle kits we offer for the LBZ or LMM, feel free to leave a comment below, reach out to our sales team, we'd love to hear from you. And thanks a lot for watching.